Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja. And the thing is that uh, I've been fiddling around with ray marching and parallax mapping for a while and uh, decided to include the whole package in the next version of Ninja 1.1 plus making it available uh, in the video description you could find the link. Um, as a separate package and it's free to download. Okay, and so the package contains uh, a demo level, which is uh, basically a use case for uh, using parallax mapping and ray marching together, uh, a basic fluid simulation made with Ninja, and uh, different lightning setups, it's like an example scene demonstrating how it could be possibly used. And if you have a look in the content browser, we have two additional levels. So this one is level two and level one is like a collection of possible uh, shading techniques and materials. On the left, you could see uh, GPU particle systems serving as input for uh, a fluid simulation. In the second column you could find uh, baked data and this baked data is fed into a material that is applying parallax mapping and ray marching on it. On the right you could see uh, alternative solutions like just simple uh, parallax mapping uh, with transparent masks or uh, an alternative method for shading based on uh, normal mapping. But anyway, uh, we are focusing on this single example, just zooming in, and it is an interactive demo, which means uh, in the editor you could grab this little light bulb pictogram and move it around and you could see what uh, ray marching does. And if you zoom in, you could see that uh, what parallax mapping does. So it's like uh, a bit of a 3D here, a little bit of uh, uh, shading and light direction influence self-shadowing here and um, the similar thing is applied to these um, to these uh, dry ice and vortex uh, examples. So let's see how this works. Clicking on this baked data that is playing here we could trace, trace back which material it is using and as you could see it's uh, Ninja Player Basic and the output data from Ninja Player Basic is fed into a render target. And this material, which is using parallax mapping and ray marching, is using that render target as an input. So why is it necessary to feed uh, the baked data into render target? It it is because uh, both uh, mapping and ray marching needs unsampled data. So uh, on the details panel I'm tracing back the material which the system is using and as you could see uh, here is this uh, texture input which is a render target and you have like uh, 20 plus parameters where you could adjust the uh, color, opacity, uh, the parallax parameters, ray marching parameters. Most importantly, it is the light direction. Have a look, uh, I am just adjusting it uh, here manually. But the point is that it's a three-dimensional vector. And uh, if you have a look at the level blueprint of this example level, the point is that I am uh, moving the light source with a simple sine cosine function and I am feeding the same data into the lightning direction of the ray marching material. So the two things are manually coupled. But if you have a look at this example, it's like uh, the lightning direction is linked to the light position, so it could be totally uh, automatized. The point is that you minus uh, the light source position from the geometry position where the material is applied to, and you could get the lightning direction vector. 
and you could make it interactive like in this case or you could drive it uh, in blueprints like with this guy. Okay, so uh, in case if you would like to use it, have a go. It is included in the latest Ninja, also uh, as a downloadable package. Uh, try to do your own simulation and uh, feed it into this material and try to do something which is uh, a bit less stylized and a bit more realistic. That's all folks, and see you next time. <laughs>